shelf and we are on to the fifth shelf um so actually i'm going to change it up i'm going to start from the left this time so um when i started studying um spirituality and religion earnestly uh almost 15 years ago um one of them, I, I took a dual approach uh, on one hand, I, first I identified the five major religions of Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam. Uh, those are the ones I was most familiar with. Those are the ones I hear the most about. Those are the ones that are recognized as the five major strands or traditions of religion with either the largest populations or, um, or connected in some way with, with the largest populations of humanity uh, in a traditional manner. Uh, so when I when I make that recognition recognition, uh, I like I said I did a dual I do a dual um, approach. I study the scriptures the 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 I identify what's the most authoritative uh, text within each one, um, and I start studying those. And then I also study about uh, just the general aspects of the religion, um, what the practices are, what the holidays are, what the customs are. Uh, what the culture is, what it, what each one ha talks about, marriage and family, um, and um, interaction and things like that. Just the basic uh, prayers, meditation, all that. Uh, just the basic scope of the religion that that the scriptures may abstain from providing readily or explicitly, particularly as the scriptures are written, respectively, hundreds, thousands of years ago, many millennia ago. So. Um, I, 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 you see the scriptures that I showed before on the top shelf, and these are the, this series of books, um, right here, from here to here, are the first books that I, uh, acquire just to read the general information. So at that period, and even still till today, I have a strong, uh, suspicion towards American authors, so I, I, uh, look for, uh, a series of books written by, written from a, um, a British um, publisher. So this is this series is provided from I think it's Huntington. Um, okay, this says McGraw Hill. Um, I thought it was Huntington. Um, Anyway, so this series was, um, you can see for yourself, it's Teach Yourself, um, it says McGraw-Hill, that this book is written, like I say, over a decade ago, um, but anyway, so I, I, I acquire a text that provides the introductory material on each one, that one is Judaism, you see... Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Islam. So those provide like basic, just the facts what, or understanding of the facts, uh, information. Then I also uh, acquire some extended texts uh, that give a, a little bit additional discussion about the theology and the beliefs of, of each tradition. Uh, so these are provided predominantly from the Oxford Press. Uh, this is uh, on Judaism. Um... Some of these are specifically written for, oh, and some of these are dusty. Um, Hinduism um, and Buddhism. Um, this is the one for Islam. Again, I think, yeah, this is written by John Esposito as well. Um, it looks a little bit different than the other three, but uh, it's it was provided in the same vein as the previous three when I when I first ordered them. I had difficulty finding the, the equivalent for Christianity. So I ordered from Oxford Press, a, a Oxford History of Christianity, which is the closest thing I could find to it. So um, these still provide very valuable information and insight on, on basic um, considerations of, of these traditions. Um, so, yeah. Um, I am mixed. Um, mixed ethnicity, multiracial, multiethnic. Um, and so, um, I include these, I include books of this experience within this portion of the library. Um, and so this book, um, 
provides is an anthology of um, uh, short works by on the mixed ethnicity experience. Um, so it's actually rather is interesting uh, to read. Um, this one is a book that talks about, I think it was prayer, uh, and, or just study of the Quran. That's what it is. Um, so uh, I read this over a decade ago. Um, and uh, this is another book by the Dalai Lama. This is the first book that I acquire, Live in a Better Way, from the Dalai Lama. Um, and we're going to mix it up. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Um, this, oh, yeah, this library has yet to be organized properly. So uh, there's, there's a little bit of everything and everywhere. This is Shabbat, the Sabbath, written, oops, written by um, Abraham Joshua Heschel. Um, and um, this is a rather substantial book um, providing insight about just the phenomena of Shabbat. Um, this is a book that is provided to me from friends uh, whilst breaking the fast of Yom Kippur, uh, Jewish friends, uh, that provides a basic a comprehensive history of, of Jews um, from, uh, from biblical, from, from the time of the Torah, uh, through uh, the past century uh, so it's actually rather interesting and it's a nice uh, initial um, reference source um, so uh, the next we have the classic that I mentioned before uh, Houston Smith uh, the world's religions uh, this is a seminal um, book written half a century ago almost uh, on um, on the world's religions he covers um, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, and I think uh, Sikha Sikh as well. Um, well, at least the, the, the prominent five. And then, uh, anyway, so that that is this. I'm going to set it here. Um, this is another copy of it because... Um, I initially perceive losing the first copy. Um, this is another book on the mixed ethnicity experience. What are you? Um, and so a lot of the books on mixed ex ethnicity experience t uh, deal with identity, belonging, uh, and issues like that. Uh, this is a, a rather interesting book, The Jew and the Lotus, uh, which is a, a book um, written about the uh, experience. I think this was um, meeting... Uh, the Buddha um, uh, in in India. Uh, not, not, wow, the Buddha, uh, the Dalai Lama in the in uh, India, um, and so it's a biographical account of um, of that experience um, and meeting with rabbis who actually meet with with the the Dalai Lama during that period as well. Um, so. This is actually probably the only work of fiction um, within this library uh, or within this segment of the library. Um, the Girl Who Fell From the Sky, written by a friend, Heidi DeRoe, uh, who is uh, mixed. Uh, she calls herself an Afro-Viking, which I guess can be the same uh, description applied to me, although I am also of other ethnicities. Um, so this is a book uh, about... Um, uh, a mixed girl. Um, so then we get to Acts of Faith, which is a prominent book within the interfaith movement, written by Ibu Patel, a friend who starts the Interfaith Youth Corps in Chicago, uh, and is is uh, widely known for his uh, leadership in that. Um, and then we have um, Interactive Faith. Uh, one of the co-authors or editors is a friend, uh, Reverend Bud Heckman, uh, who is a, a prominent um, leader and, and uh, activist within the interfaith movement. Um, and then we get to Best of Intentions. <laughs> this one, actually, uh, I'm, I intend to recategorize this, but this is actually another uh, fiction written by my friend Dax, uh, so uh, I, I tend to reclassify that. It's not really interfaith, but uh, it's a nice book. Um, uh, here we have the autobiography of Malcolm X. Um, it's, a, it's weathered, uh, as you can see, but it's there. 
Um, and here we have a book written by uh, Rabbi Michael Lerner and the Professor Cornell West um, talking about the experience uh, between Jews and blacks. Um, the particularly within the past century uh, the, the amount of cooperation that exists between the two communities uh, with for example the, the beginnings of uh, the Niagara movement and the NAACP and uh, the civil rights movement uh, but also uh, some of the contention um, within the past few decades uh, with uh, in New York and other places um, with different events emerging between uh, and different conflict even between um, the Jewish community and the community of people of African descent. Um, so uh, that's that book. This book uh, is Asian Americans, um, which is a required reading um, by my uh, law professor, Mari Matsuda, uh, who is actually married to, um, wow, um, Charles Lawrence, who is also a professor, uh, one of my professors in law school. Uh, so that basically provides a history of Asian Americans in the United States over the past couple of centuries. Um, this is a book, um, The Beacons of Light, also by Marcus Braybrook, um, that talks about um, 100 historic figures from... Uh, throughout humanity. Uh, it's actually rather interesting. It's a very it's an awesome premise to basically identify all the 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 um, religious historic I, I think this focuses predominantly on like a religious aspect, but um, just the um, the historic figures from different traditions in, in an increasingly um, comprehensive and inclusive manner. Uh, so a lot of a lot of history texts tend to focus on um, Western European uh, figures and, and maybe drawing from a few other traditions. Uh, this one, um, this book basically looks at uh, the, uh, the comprehensive set or as, as much of a comprehensive set of humanity as possible. So, very interesting um, book. Uh, very valuable. Um, this is another book by Thomas Merton, uh, The Seven Story Mountain. I'm still in, in the middle of it. Um, it's an autobiography. Uh, Thomas Merton is the, the Christian mystic uh, Trappist monk um, and um, writes about his experience. Uh, ha he has a rather interesting story and interesting beginnings. Um, so there's that. Uh, this is another book on the mixed experience written by Maria Root, uh, who is a, I think, um, a psychologist. Um, who is very prominent in the mixed ethnicity movement uh, and one of the first uh, professionals to advocate for the mixed experience over, wow, maybe three decades ago. Uh, in, in the, well, three decades ago. Uh, and uh, she writes the, the Bill of Rights for Mixed People, which talk about, affirm, uh, affirms uh, mixed people's um, um, right propensity um uh to to make certain affirmations of identity and um um allegiance and, and belonging that may differ from different um communities so um rather formidable work there this is another one of those books from the um from the media list of the books to get from about religion uh this is a book that is written by a uh, friend, Samir Samov Samonovich, um, who uh, is a self-proclaimed uh, Muslim, atheist, Jewish, Christian. Um, um, his his uh, his official faith is Christianity, but he is very much involved in the interfaith movement and an organization called Faith House Manhattan and additional uh, initiatives. Um, I think also World Faith. Um, and so it's actually his birthday today, so big up, Samir. Um, and this is another uh, interfaith book on uh, Three Cups of Tea, which talks about um, the experience of um, building, I think this is building a school 
in um, in Pakistan. I have yet to read the book actually, but uh, it's highly recommended. So um, that is the library or the the bookshelf. Oh, I, I have yet to uh, include one other part. So um, that is the fifth shelf, and I'm going to stand up and show the books that are on the the high shelf this is an atlas basically um and uh just the atlas of the earth you can see it's weathered um and this is a book on a little dusty maybe uh appropriately so on um humanity's photography of the outer hemisphere or the um the planets um so these are basically just coffee table books um but can be also used as sources of reference to the human experience of earth and beyond um and that is pretty much the bookshelf uh, there are other books within the library of asona ashram um, these are the predominantly the religious and interfaith um, and inter-community books um, that are in our library. So with that, I say love and peace.